few years back we found this road here uh, it's very nice it's tucked away from the city so it's not too busy and it's just lined with uh, cherry blossoms very pretty <laughs> We like to come here because there's no people. The only problem is that it's not really like a sidewalky place, but it's always nice to come here because the trees are very pretty. It's a lot cooler out here in the countryside. Back in the city, I could walk around without a jacket, but here I get a slip on the jacket. Closer to the mountains, cooler air, less traffic and pollution. What's the plan? Are we going to Gyeongju? Okay, we're gonna continue driving and we'll find some place to eat. Because Mali is super duper hungry. Is that right, Mali? Okay, let's go eat them. We're gonna go eat because kids are hungry. Today's lunch menu noodles. Noodles. Today's lunch menu. Today's lunch menu. I'm reading out here. which is made from uh, soybean, soybean paste. Mali wanted to go inside because it's chilly outside, I guess she thinks. So. This place is semi-famous because some time ago some celebrities stopped by here and they recorded a bit for the television show, some kind of food show. So uh, these guys were featured on some food program and they put up their um, TV advertisements in front of the restaurant and stuff. So I guess the soup is good. Liam, Liam, what happened to you this morning? Wake up. Oh, uh, I don't know. Was it this morning or last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, last night. What happened to you last night? No. Go e. Mm. Now, yeah, what happened? Yeah, you lost your second tooth. How long did it take for your tooth come to come out? Yeah, how many days? Uh, what? Yeah. One year? Yeah. I'm eating a lot of noodles. Every time I record a video on the weekend, we're eating noodles. <laughs> Sweet tooth, and after every salty meal, I need something sweet. So I think we're gonna go hunt for coffee. Most restaurants here in Korea have. Uh, uh, coffee vending machine that's usually free of charge. <clears throat> the, you usually have to pay about 100 to 200 won for, for a cup of coffee. Uh, but most restaurants these days um, don't charge people, customers, for, for those coffees. They're just kind of a additional service. 
In the past, you used to have to pay for these, but not anymore. Still eating? We're in Gyeongju, and so uh, I wanted to go for a little walk. Up ahead, there's a there's a nice little sidewalk with uh, a lot of cherry blossoms. So we left the car at the restaurant, and we're gonna go for a little walk and. I don't know, enjoy the cherry blossoms. The cherry trees here don't actually produce any fruit. It would be nice if they did. Uh, it would be nice if they did, but they don't. So these flowers show up for a couple of weeks each year, then they disappear and the trees basically turn green with leaves, foliage and stuff. But uh, some of them produce like tiny little cherries, tiny little fruit that are most of the time either very bitter or very sour and non-consumable. Sunday today, we came down to this little place called Mugo Chong. Uh, it's located in Mugodong, so the Mugo and Chong, I believe, is a reference to stream or something. This place has been developed over the past few years. It's a stream that runs all the way from Mugodong to the main river, Tewagang, somewhere past a rotary. So, and it's the whole stream is lined with cherry blossoms. When cherry blossom season hits, people come out. Molly, put the jacket on, sweetie. You're hot, but it's windy, and you might get sick because it's windy and chilly. And so the area is swarming with people. Uh, on the other side of the, the creek there, you can set up a blanket and people can have a picnic. While on this side, there's kind of a path that leads for, I don't know, over a good kilometer or more. Bridge onward, the center of the creek is lined with like sculptures and stuff, and at night they're lit up so you can come here and, uh, and take some pictures of uh, night lit view along the creek. What are these chipmunks here? Chipmunks, look at this little prince. Yeah, I think that's Bambi Mali. You want some? Some children have good mixages here. Are you gonna drive and eat? <laughs> you didn't think this through, did you? I have to carry it, right? Thank you. 
We got stuck by this performance and it's mind-boggling that the performer that's on stage right now is a rapper or a beatboxer. It's fascinating to see how this is like spewed onto the entire Korean population here. <laughs> Quite cool because there's I guess young and old and this guy's beatboxing for all of them. That may have been the most crowded place around here. Okay, we moved on. Ulsan has a history of whale hunting. And over the years, since uh, whale hunting is highly frowned upon, Greenpeace came down here a few years ago and they were uh, trying to protest the building of a whale museum. But the city managed to turn it around somehow and uh, now the past of the whale hunting is being glorified and on every step there is like this uh, sculptures of whales and dolphins and whatnot. Uh, the bed has been turned into a tourist attraction now. This place is a lot busier than it used to be. It's a proper shopping mall here along the along the creek. Uh, in the past there were only a few stalls, now it's just lined, the entire stretch is lined with people trying to sell crap. Cherry Blossom Madness is gonna be here for this weekend, I guess. Over the week, uh, provided the weather maintains the way it is without any rain, there will be lots of pleasure to be had. And by next weekend, it's probably gonna be gone, mostly. Maybe at the very end of the walk, there's another bend here I'm under Bridge Pass, and then uh, I don't know. I've never been that far, so I guess we'll go and have a look. And if it continues, we'll continue. We made it past the bridge. It's a lot quieter. All the stalls are gone. A lot fewer people. And it's a lot nicer actually. Fewer trees, or at least the trees are a lot smaller. But it's so much more peaceful here. That's the problem in Korea with pretty places. It's just a matter of time, like when they first come up. There's stairs, we can go up those stairs. Whenever you find a nice new place anywhere, it's just a matter of time before it gets swarmed with people and it turns into a zoo. Liam, this way, buddy with stalls and it's just you know everybody wants to get a piece of the uh, niceness and it just stops being so nice because it gets very very crowded mm. a little bike pull way pretty cool lets you stick your wheels in the groove and lead your bike up the stairs Did you find a rabbit? No? Nice, look at your shirt, man. <laughs>
decided to take a break because we were hungry and we found this uh, beef soup. So that's where we stopped by. And of course, Molly and Liam couldn't wait to get their hands on the phone and start watching crap on YouTube. Molly, what are you watching? And Liam's still nursing his chin because he slipped on the, on the dirt and banged his chin on the ground. He didn't knock out any teeth, did you? He'll be fine. He'll be fine. So I think the plan after this is to head back to the car uh, and then I think Mali wants to go to the Grand Park. I guess that's what we're gonna do. And then you gotta get home kiddo and do some homework. at the playground which was cold once the sun set and now it's time to go home Molly needs to do homework and they need to shower and are you guys hungry no. remember to like subscribe leave a comment in the section below uh, and we'll see you on Monday uh, remember to come back on Monday for the hug one startup podcast uh, David and I will will be uh, hosting a uh, uh, guest speaker, uh, a new Gombo Bang owner who just recently started his own business. So it's gonna be good to hear um, uh, from a new business owner. See you Monday.